Hi there, good afternoon and welcome to today's Kingston Library book review. I'm Fran and the book series I'm going to be reviewing today is The Bridal Quartet by Nora Roberts. Uh, I'm not usually a huge fan of romance novels uh, as I usually consider them to be very cheesy uh, and badly written, uh, probably with very um, passive and vapid female character. So I tend to steer clear of them. However, I think Nora Roberts um, on the whole bucks that trend as this series in particular, the female characters are written in a really relatable way, in a really likeable way. And the main thread of the series is the friendship between the four characters rather than the romance stories. Um, I'll just run down the plot in a very basic, quick way. Um, the the story is of these four female best friends who have been best friends forever and they've decided to open up a wedding planning business together um it's split into the four departments of the of the business which is um mackenzie who runs the photography um emma who runs the the decorations and the and the floristry laurel who runs the food and the baking aspect of it and parker who is the head of the business who helps the wedding party with the rest of the details for their wedding um parker is a very wealthy woman and so they live on this massive estate which is where they hold most of the weddings because it's a big beautiful estate where you know there's lots of different places in the in the complex for weddings to take place and uh, they all live there together and like I mentioned they're all absolutely uh, best friends in the world and most of those most of the four books there's four books in this series that most of the books are um, about their sort of banter and their closeness and being there for each other in various difficulties that take place whether it's their business or their private life um obviously being romance series the romance does come into it however as i said it does take a back seat on the whole to the the friendship angle of it which i think is really unique and um i find that this series does um manage to be a book that is a guilty pleasure if you're not a huge fan of romance novels but at the same time you can't be too guilty because it is decently written um the order of the book series is the first one is Vision in White, which takes place in Mac's point of view. Um, book two, which is Bed of Roses, which takes place in Emma's point of view. Book three, which is Savor the Moment, which takes place in Laurel's point of view. And book four, which is, um, I think it's called Happy Ever After. I might be wrong on that, which is in Parker's point of view. And the four characters are so distinct and different, but at the same time, you can totally understand why they're best friends because okay they complement each other perfectly like one might be more confident in a situation another one might not be or you know they just they just support each other through all of life's ups and downs which is it's just a really nice thing to see and you don't really see a book purely about female friendships that doesn't have men getting in the way of it um the romance sort of sits alongside the friendship stories and rather than getting in the way of it or anything like that which is like I said a really refreshing uh, way of telling this sort of story um so that is the review for today is the vision in white um which is the first of the bridal quartet stories by Nora Roberts so I hope you enjoyed watching this review thank you bye